Hello and welcome back to Splash of Paint, where it's time for part one of today's Try Your Hand Up project. Let's join versatile SAA artist Paul Beatty as he demonstrates how his favourite piece of cutlery is the perfect choice for staring up a lovely, misty mountain scene. Thank you, Matthew. Um, today I'm going to be working on a, a full colour landscape mountain scene. I've come in the background here and I've just used the ultramarine, ultramarine blue and titanium white to create the sky colour. I've also come in with some um, phthalo green. Um, it's a very strong colour, you have to be careful with that. And I've mixed it quite, um, you know, about 10 parts white to about a quarter part of green because it's a really strong colour and you have to be careful because it can be very overpowering. So I've done that as a misty cloud effect in, in the sky. I've come in again with some ultramarine blue and titanium white and uh, I've created some basic mountains in the background just to uh, push those clouds backwards. So let's get right to it. I'm going to come in here now. We've created this colour and what I want to do is I want to create um, I want to create a, a nice misty mountain scene for you. So if you see what I'm doing here, I'm putting some white by here. And this is the phthalo green. I've only got a, a minute, minute little amount because you barely need it. Just gently touch the tip of the spoon to it. If you look at that, it's, it's just a little speck. Um, you don't need much more than that for, for this process I'm doing. Now if I go to mix it in, you'll see how strong the color is right away. It's really strong. So you just have to blend it down and keep adding white to get it to the right, right texture. I mean, that's still too strong for what I need. So I'm just going to clean the spoon so I don't get any of that in the white. Come in, get some more white. Quite, quite a big glob there. And I'm just going to mix it in. There you go. It's starting to lighten it up slightly. If it goes on to um, too green, then I can always add some more white to it straight on the canvas or on the Stay Wet palette. All I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to just gonna drag it on just just drag it on the canvas this is this is a straight canvas so don't worry about it just drag it in blend it in you can come in after I just want to get the uh, this area just basically covered first just just to get the uh, the paint on and then um, we will actually blend it with the mountains as we go so we're just covering the area just by dragging, dabbing the paint on and then dragging it down the canvas just to create that nice misty effect that you see in the mountains on a winter's day. Okay, as you can see, I've put the greens on. I'm just going to come in with a little bit of white. Now, I clean my spoon first because I don't want that green going into the white again because it will muddy the colour and then that green will end up coming into everything else I do. So I've just come in here now, I'm just going to dab some white in places. Um, again, clean the spoon, get a little bit more white, just on the side, dab it into places, and then just kind of blend it down into. And when you're blending it into the wet, wet green colour, what's happening is uh, you're getting a nice, a nice mix. So then you can give your spoon a quick wipe and you can bring it up the other way. And what you're bringing up the other way is going to be a lot lighter than the green below. So what you're doing is you're blending out that green so it's not as uh, prominent as below. And another little trick you do is get some of that white again and just a touch of the ultramarine blue. My colours, by the way, are, um, sorry, I forgot to mention, uh, titanium white, ultramarine blue, yellow ochre, unbleached titanium or buff titanium, depends on the, on the brand of paint you use. Um, phthalo green and burnt umber. That's all the colours I'm using in this painting. Okay, just need a little bit more white in there just to soften it up. I'm just going to come into the top of this as well and just mix, mix some blue into there so it completely blends in into the uh, mountain scene. Maybe a touch more white in there. Just come in and a touch more white just to blend it. Make some more snow and shadow colours. This all happens naturally on the canvas. You don't have to worry about it. It creates the crevices, the rocks, you know, the different um, different mountain lines. And then you just blend it down into that colour. If you got up too high, just get a little bit more. Just go over it with the blue colour. There you go, and just blend it down. Blend it all down into that green. Quite simply. 
I'm not actually trying to create different ridges and different forms um, on purpose deliberately. I'm just bringing the colors down. Just letting that paint mix and letting it create everything naturally without having to worry about it. Okay, I think that's quite good. I might bring a bit more green in down here. Um, same mix I had already, so I'll just bring a little bit of that down here. Extend it a little bit further. Okay. And there's the Misty Mountain. Okay. I'm coming in now and getting some, um, some ultramarine blue and just a bit of the bur burnt umber on there. And I'm just going to mix that together and then get like a dark blue, blacky mix. Burnt umber and ultramarine blue, I think, make an excellent, an excellent black. So I'm just making that. I'm just going to bring in another mountain here. So I'm going to, well, let's see. I'll bring it in here, bring it up and down, maybe across the page. And this is just to make the base of the mountain. Yep. Just use that again. Just bring it down to the edge of the uh, canvas on the side. And then, again, just drag that paint straight down. I'll have to mix another... Another little batch here, I think. Um, but mix that down. And as you come lower, you can let that kind of blend out and mix with the colours that you already have on there to the west. That's great. It's just add more atmosphere and more realism to your work, so I wouldn't worry about that. You can even get some of the green and come in there and just uh, blend some into it. There you go. Okay, some more blue. Brown, a bit more blue, and just mix it around, get a nice color. You don't want it on the brown side, you keep it either on the blue or the black side. You don't want to go any, uh, any, uh, you don't want to go on the brown side because it won't, won't look right on the image. So I'm just bringing some paints in. And if you see, I mean, just, just the way I'm just slapping it on here and, and spreading it. It is creating those ridges and everything else as I go. It's called letting the letting the paint do the work for you. Okay. There we go. I'll just uh, bring that edge a little bit more so it's not so uh, pyramid shaped. Okay, I'm gonna come in now with some blue, and uh, I'm gonna mix it into that dark mix and just. Uh, Get a nice shadow colour in there. I'm just going to come in over the uh, top of the over the top of the all, already uh, based in mountain, and I'm just going to just run it, just gently run it. And as you can see, I haven't mixed blue completely. I've got bits of white, different shades of blue, and that all adds to the different uh, levels of detail in the work. And again, I'm just using this part of the spoon, the base of it, and just kind of placing it on and pulling it down, wiggling slightly as I go, wiggling the spoon slightly as I go, because it, um, it adds texture, depth, and a little bit of realism to it. Here we go. A little bit more white into this mix now. And... Uh, Bring it down. That's a big old mountain there in the, the background. Oops. Just bringing the colour across. Just bring that across here like that. Just to separate the distant mountains from the mid-ground mountains. And again, I've just basically mixed it all loosely and bring it in and across. And you're getting a good good feel now for a, a nice winter mountain scene. Um, just gonna add some more white in here and just come in with the blue now, not not the blue and the um, the, bra the burnt amber mix. It's just purely ultramarine blue and white. I'm just gonna over here and put some uh, some snows coming over here there you go I'm just 
bring it up slightly so it blends in a bit better. I'd like to have a good, a good ledge there, a good line, definite line. It's not that far away where it kind of blends into the background, so um, that's that. Okay, some more white and some more blue. Just bring some more in here as well, and I'm just adding it here and there, just just bearing in mind direction of light and shadow and so forth, you know, um, doing it so the light's coming uh, this way. You see this top of this canvas looks a little bit dark on that side. So um, I'll come in here as well and I'll add some highlights on the peaks of the mountain and so forth. Maybe a little bit in there, the sun's getting in there and coming down the side here. Just kind of blend it in together. Let the paint mix. Okay. And the same over here. Let me get some more highlights coming across the snow. Okay. I'll just... Uh, Drag this down slightly across canvas just to pull the paint. There you go. That's, that's quite a nice effect there. That works quite well. I'm quite happy with that. I'll just uh, bring some more shadow in here. Just a little bit. The blue and the burnt on the just to hide that in a little bit. There you go, I need a little bit more blue in that because there's too much brown. There you go, that'll just all blend in. There you go, don't worry about it if you do get a little bit of brown in there, just as I just did there, just add a little bit more blue, remix the paint, still works no problem whatsoever there you go got rid of that brown and brought in the shadow color okay we're about the halfway point here so join me later on in the program to see how to complete the painting thanks paul it's amazing to see how much detail and blending can be achieved using such an innovative approach join us in part three when we'll be adding some highlights and depth to today's try your hand up project we'll see you soon